Liverpool absolutely mauled uh, Sparta Prague. Oh, yeah, I seen the score, like, unbelievable. I was so happy, you know? Yeah, what was it? Was it like 11-1 or aggregate? Yeah, yeah, because they yeah. beat my team, you know, you understand? Yeah, yeah. In a scummy way, wasn't it? Yeah. How do you reckon Galatasaray would have gotten on against so cool? I, I think uh, it would be a good game. Yeah. It would have been closer, definitely closer, I reckon. Yeah, the, uh, you know the Galatasaray play against very big team, play better football. Yeah, really. But small team. Yeah, they beat Man United, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the small team are too much defensive. Yeah, play dirty football. Yeah, and a little bit play dirty as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh well. But uh, between Sparta and Galatasaray, I didn't like the referee decisions, you know? Yeah, yeah, you said. The referee, he wasn't that good, you know? Yeah, you were raging with the referee, weren't you? Yeah. It's a shame, because it shouldn't be happening in European football, you know? Yeah. Should be more clean, you know, you understand? Yeah, yeah definitely. More to come. So you you play football yourself? I play a bit of five five aside here and there, but just I, friendly one, yeah. Yeah, I'm more into I like boxing. I do a lot of boxing and I do rugby. Is what my good sports are, but friendly, a bit of friendly football. I'm a good, I'm a defender, though. I'm not really skillful, you know. All right, okay. I love watching it though. I love watching Scotland, you know. I'm going to uh, I'm actually going to Germany for the Euros. All right, well, are you going, yeah? Yeah, yeah. We booked it back in yeah. back in October before we qualified because it's it was so much cheaper. No, no, you go for this European Cup, yeah, this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which game? I'm going. I'm actually going to the opening game against Germany. All oh, right, okay, okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Did you get tickets? Yeah, we got on resale, so pretty expensive. But oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I think it was. I, I mean, it's the opening game of Euros. I think it'll definitely be worth it in Berlin and everything. So very exciting. And then our group is like Hungary and Swit. Uh, I think it's Switzerland. The England group, yeah. Nah, nah, Scotland. 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 So Scotland, Scottish, Scottish. Or is a Scotland is a Germany, Germany, um, Hungary, and I think it's Switzerland. Oh right, okay. So it's it's a beatable group, but we've never been out of a group stage in a European final, so I don't. I mean, I don't think we'll show up. But it'll be a good. Uh, it's a good occasion, you know. It's a big deal just getting there because mm. it was like. Basically, I hadn't seen us in a European tournament until that 2020 Euros. Yeah. In my opinion, I think Scotland play very good football now. Yeah. Yeah, they play good. Yeah, we're a good team now, actually, we are. Yeah, we beat Spain. I was at that 2-0 um, against well, Spain. Well, that was not friendly, it's a group game, it's yeah? It's a qualifier, yeah. yeah. It's a massive game, actually. So, Scotland, they finish group like first or second? Second. We were like four points off first or three. And Spain beat us in like a controversial way, but Spain's group, they're in like the group of death with like Italy and like England and a bunch of like at like hard, hard teams. Yeah. So we've actually got a better group than uh, than what England ended up with, than um, what uh, Spain ended up with. So I'm actually pretty happy with how, how it ended up. And it was, um, 
Uh, it's just to get to Germany is what it's all about, you know. All the Scots in Germany would be fucking mental. Yeah, yeah. So far I know, I don't know. I... Was it Portugal, Italy and Spain? I don't know. No. No, no. Portugal is in Turkish group. Yeah. That will be the hardest game, I think, for yeah, Turkey. Yeah, yeah. Portugal is the team right now. But Turkey have a good team right now. We have an Italian manager, you know, so... Yeah. It's quite good. Turkey are always a decent team. Last, I remember 2020, they were a good team, but yeah. they just kind of underperformed. The one of those goes under the radar, but they are, they are a good team, you know. Yeah. It'll be exciting. I think it'll be such a good, such a good tournament in Germany in the summer. But a couple months ago, we beat the uh, Germany friendly game. Did you? 3 2. Oh, we beat them. Yeah. Germany aren't that good, are they? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's wow, that's a good result there. Yeah. yeah. Very Ger good result, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Germany are, they're alright, but I just think it's their home tournament. They've been like kind of poor, and they're still like. It's so all those big teams like Germany and Spain and stuff, and England always kind of prevail to get through the group stage no matter what, just because of their, just because of their blind arrogance of how they're a good team. And they are, I think England actually have a really good shot of winning it this year, because that's a, they're a really, really good team actually. Got like Jude Bellingham who thinks he's the best player in the world currently, so. Well, I most of the English, uh Football teams like yeah, like Manchester City, Arsenal, Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. unbelievable. They play some football like these days, you know. I know, I know. So you remember, like ten years ago, Spain how play football? Dominated like Barcelona, like Barcelona Real Madrid, mm -hmm. Atletico Madrid, yeah. Villarreal. It's like it's, in UK. Oh my goodness, it's, they play like such a different football, like you know. Yeah, yeah. Is it's uh, yeah, I mean, the Champions League qualifier shows that it's it is close, isn't it? Because Spain are like Barcelona and Madrid are still in there, yeah. and then it's Arsenal and City are through as well. So. so, I want to look on the top a little bit, okay? Okay, So you said you're from Scotland, yeah? I, yeah, I'm yeah. from like 20 minutes away from Stalin. Okay. Just a little village. So, so. who who you sport in Scotland? I like uh, Dundee United's my team. Okay. My family's from Dundee, so okay, okay. we're pretty uh, pretty poor team just now, to be honest. We lost 3-1 last night to like fourth in league. So we're in the championship, but we should be winning it. To be honest, we should be walking it because we've got like a big budget compared to the smaller clubs, but we're struggling. Yeah, yeah, we're struggling, man. We've got a really poor manager, but it's late in the season, so we can't really fire him. And then if we get promoted, like he'll he'll probably ride off that and stay on because because we get promoted, and then we'll just get absolutely slapped about in the in the main league. So I don't know. We we'll, we'll qualify because we're like. 10 points clear, 12 points clear of like automatic uh, promotion. So we will qualify, but we really should be just walking the league. Like we should win it easily, but it's not, it's not proven to be easy. Our manager can't win big games, you know. All the big teams we play always gets absolutely battered. It's not good.
And just a little tidy your friends, okay? Yeah, cool. It's all good. I fear my team. I watched my team in 2010 when I was like six, when we won the we won the Scottish Cup at Hamden. Yeah. yeah. And I remember that was one of my first memories. So I remember that, but I fear that might be the only time I see my team win a trophy. So it's not it's not too good. It's been a horrible weather, yeah. Last I know, I know. Last three days. That's spring, though. Yeah, spring and very, very heavy rain. Yeah, it's got to get, got to get water those plants, you know. Yeah, all day nearly raining, you know. Pouring it, pouring it down yeah. as well. It's nice today, though. Yeah, today is beautiful. Yeah, today I feel spring like. Yeah, it's come out for Saturday, hasn't it? I think this proper feels like the first spring day. Getting to summer. And the days are definitely getting longer, I'd say. Oh yeah, yeah. 100%. So end of this month, it is will be getting dark around seven. Yeah. But when the time changing, we'll pass to eight oh, o'clock yeah, straight yeah, away. Yeah. Oh yeah, we get the extra hour, don't we? Yeah, end of this month. Is that the end of this month? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Last Saturday usually. Yeah. For the months, you know? Nice. That'll be good. Summer's coming, man. It's good. It's just depressing, like the, what, six hour, five hour days. Like from October, time is changing. Mm -hmm. it's very early, getting dark. Yeah. And only those two months are like only Christmas time, Halloween time. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't have Christmas, New Year and Halloween, I would say it will be very hard for January. you. January, it's like January. Yeah. For, me, for me, very, very hard. But my favorite is uh, like April, May, June, July, yeah, August. Yeah, yeah, 100. My favorite, you know. Oh. We're getting there, we're getting there. But autumn time, like September, October, I, I would like to be in the nature always. I think it's nice, yeah, it's yeah, really nice. I, I want to be in the nature, you know, you yeah. understand? Because you want to enjoy, like, the end of summer as well, oh, as yeah. much as you can. For me, when July finish, summer is finishing for me. Do you think? Yeah, for me, yeah. No, yeah, obviously it's very obviously hot. Awesome. You can't say that. You, you gotta you got long out summer as much as you can. You gotta enjoy it for as much as you can. 
Because when you're in winter, you are in winter, you know, there's no, there's no fucking around. You get a lion in January, you get like three hours of summer. This powder, it yeah. is beautiful. Yeah. It's nice texturing your hair, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's going to be a good video. Yeah. Boom. Nice. Quality. There you go, I love that. Okay, that's good. Oh, thank you.